is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I heard from God in a dream. Three times he said to me, I'm coming back soon. I'm coming back soon. I'm coming back soon. I looked up the word soon in Webster's Dictionary. This is what it said. In a short time after something happens. Wow. That was the definition. Well, something is happening. Anyone that's reading the newspaper, reading the Bible, you know that something is happening. And this is why my next guest has broken the code of the book of Revelation, and you are going to get supernatural revelation, as the Bible says, because he's coming back soon. So what would you do if a prophet calls you out and tells you things that only God could know, and then says, you're going to have one of the best uh, future is the best year you've ever had, and everything falls apart. It's not such a good year. I'll tell you what I would do, and that's what my guest, John Shorey, did. He went into prayer and fasting. What did God show you? Well, this minister had pointed me out and said that the greatest years of your ministry were ahead of you. My wife and I, we had been children's evangelists and children's pastors, and at that time we were part-time children's pastors, and it seemed like our ministry was getting to its end. And for this evangelist to point me out and say, the greatest years of your ministry are ahead of you, he said some other things, and over the next year or two, I was seeing all this stuff come to pass. So I went to the Lord in fasting and prayer, and I said, Lord, I've seen the confirmation of this word, except that what do I need to do that would lead me to the greatest years of my ministry? Because that's what I really wanted. And after fasting and praying for several days, uh, it wasn't an audible voice, but it was that inner voice loud and clear. And it said, I want you to do a study on the end times, self-publish it, and put it into the hands of pastors, Christian leaders, and Christians. And my first initial reaction was, why would pastors want to hear what I have to say about the end times? But then I said, Lord, if this is what you want me to do, I'll do it. Okay, what did he show you? Well, what happened was, for, I set a year apart to study the, the, only the Word of God. I didn't listen to other teachers and preachers on the end times. I didn't read anybody else's book. I just read the Bible. I was reading the book of Revelation, and I started seeing things I had never seen before. And, and not only did you devote that whole year to praying and fasting and studying the Bible and not looking at other Christian books or Christian television, but he found out a key that broke open the book of Revelation, because he had been studying this for years. He had something in him that wanted to understand the book of Revelation. What was the key that you found? John, the revelator, was like translated to the throne of God, and Jesus gave him the book of Revelation. And it's like he was living, John was living on the island of Patmos, kind of in a prison camp. and. Uh, and when Jesus finished giving him the revelation, he's back home to reality in his man cave, kind of, so to speak. 
And I can imagine him having people delivering parchments and, 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 you know, quills. And he's writing the book of Revelation as Jesus gave it to him. And he gets to chapter 10. And all of a sudden, an angel interrupts John. Because in chapter 10 of Revelation, there's this angel that shows up and gives John a little smaller scroll. And he says, John, I want you to read this. He said, actually, eat it, you know, read it. And, uh, and I want you to prophesy again about people's nations, uh, people's languages and nations. And basically what happened is this angel interrupts John in chapter 10, gives him this scroll that contains four chapters of the book of Revelation. And when I realized what was going on, it was like, wow, that's why so many people get confused reading the book of Revelation, because there's four chapters in here that are, are like an angelic interruption. From this revelation that God gave me, I was reading Revelation chapter 16. John had finished writing about the seven bowls, the vials of God's wrath. And after chapter 16, chapter 17, verse 1, all of a sudden, I see an another angelic interruption. This angel shows up a second time and gives John two and a half additional chapters of what I call angelic interruptions. So what you did, this is so amazing, is he took the angelic interruptions and put it in the right chronological order, and all of a sudden, the light bulb went on. All of a sudden, he understood the revelations of the book of Revelation. But John, like many Christians, was raised with the belief that there would be a rapture before the tribulation comes. And I'll tell you what, if I had a choice, that's what I would choose. And that's what he chose. But all of a sudden, God began shining his flashlight on things that have to occur before the rapture that caused him to change his thinking. And he'll explain why when we come back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Did you know that there is a promise from God of a great blessing for those who read the book of Revelation? But how can you receive that blessing if you don't understand what you're reading? Bible scholars have debated when the time of the rapture will occur. Is it pre-tribulation, mid, or post? But John Shorey shares for the first time in recent history, all these scholars agree on one startling thing. Jesus is coming soon. John Shorey wants to make sure that you and your loved ones are prepared for the end time events about to take place on planet Earth. Call now and receive John Shorey's Mystery of the Revelation Unveiled Package, which includes his end time book, The Window of the Lord's Return, and his revelatory book, Unlocking the Mystery of the Book of Revelation, plus this exclusive bookmark, Revelation in Chronological Order, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9263. Is it pre-trib? Is it mid-trib? Is it post-trib? The first book that I wrote was about the timing of the, of the Lord's coming from the standpoint that He's coming soon. And the other part of the book is talking about the timing of the rapture. Through this startling, easy to understand prophecy package, the answers to these questions are revealed. When will the rapture occur? Could it be that the angels reveal to John additional footnotes to give us a clearer understanding of the end times? What are the seven events that must take place before the rapture occurs? What will be the configuration of the one world government? What does the Bible mean when it says there will be a great falling away? Who will be the Antichrist and where will he come from? How will the Jewish temple be rebuilt as long as the Muslims are in control of the Temple Mount? How does the United States fit into end time prophecy? Is America the mystery Babylon? What heavenly events must take place before the rapture occurs? Are you really prepared for what is soon coming? Don't be caught unaware. I want you to get these two books. Why? Because he goes into detail how to understand the book of Revelation that when you put it in the proper chronological order. So not only does he teach you this, but 
We have a Bible bookmark that lists the proper chronological order. I want you to get the blessing that is promised in the book of Revelation for reading it and comprehending it. This exclusive Bible bookmark will remind you of the chronological order of reading and understanding the book of Revelation. Don't miss out on getting John Shorey's Mystery of the Revelation Unveiled Package, which includes his end time book, The Window of the Lord's Return, and his revelatory book, Unlocking the Mystery of the Book of Revelation, plus this exclusive bookmark, Revelation in Chronological Order. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9263. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9263 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. So, John, you found events that must occur before the rapture. Give me some examples and what that meant to you in your belief of end time theology. I, I was very strongly leaning towards pre-trib and I said to myself, well, if God is telling me to do this study, then I believe that by the time it's done, God's going to put this to bed. We're going to have the answers. But there was this scripture in Thessalonians that just, it was one of those hang up scriptures where I thought, boy, this doesn't quite make sense. It doesn't add up with pre-trib. And that was in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. And Paul was speaking to the Thessalonians and he says, don't let anyone deceive you for the gathering unto him will not happen until there is a great falling away and the man of sin is revealed. So this was the, the first thing that I needed to have, be able to add up and make sense because if there would be a great falling away, what would cause it? And if the man of sin, the Antichrist, has to be revealed before the gathering unto him, well then the imminent teaching of a pre-trib rapture, that nothing has to happen, that the rapture could happen today, uh, if we have to wait for a couple of events, then it's not imminent. So as I was doing this study, one of the revelations, in fact, it was the first key revelation after a year, and I'm saying, God, help me finish. And that revelation came from Revelation where it talks about the beast coming out of the sea right. with ten horns and seven heads and ten crowns. And this that it was talking about, the beast coming out of the sea, was a, was a one-world government that would rise uh, at some point in human history where something would have to happen that would be so catastrophic that every country in the world, because the Bible says the Antichrist will rule over every people, language, and right. nation. So every nation means all of them, every nation. So in my thinking, I realized that something has to happen so catastrophic that the nations of the world, including America, would have to be willing to give up their constitution and join a global solution. So as you re read down a little further, it says, one of the heads of the beast was fatally wounded. This is where God opened my eyes. All of a sudden, I realized... So I've always thought that means the Antichrist would be a fatally wounded, come back to life, and everyone would follow him. God showed me where it says, one of the heads of the beast is fatally wounded. He's talking about these 10 leaders, the 10 crowns, okay? 10 global leaders, 10 regions of the world that will make up the global one world government. One of these 10 heads, it's like heads of state. One of the heads of state is fatally wounded. Not necessarily in the head. Think about it. People, we've been so ingrained in our thinking that the Antichrist will be fatally wounded in the head. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. And when it happens and one of these 10 world leaders is shot in the chest or wounded in the chest or however it happens, and the church says, boy, I'm glad he didn't get wounded in the head. We don't have to worry about him being the Antichrist. Well, this opened up a new revelation. What I realized was if the rapture can't happen until the Antichrist comes to power and the Antichrist can't come to power until the ten heads are put in place, 
then what that made me realize is that some catastrophic event, probably a global economic crisis, would literally bring the countries of the world to their knees to where people would be begging for a solution and willing to join a one world government. So now here we have three things that have to happen before the rapture. We need to have the forming of a one world government, the Antichrist rising to power. When everything falls apart and the rapture doesn't happen, I believe there'll be a great falling away. People will be disillusioned that what happened to this promised rapture? So then when you continue studying, when you read Matthew 24, it talks about the Antichrist going to the temple and desecrating the temple. Well, if you read Matthew 24, it gives an outline from, you know, the be you know, beginning of a number of events. It mentions the desecration of the temple. And then you realize if the Antichrist is going to desecrate the temple, then the temple has to be rebuilt. Well, where's the temple? The temple in Jerusalem, and it's not rebuilt. That's what I mean. You know, so here we have the Antichrist showing up to desecrate the temple. The, the temple has to be rebuilt before he can desecrate it. And then you continue reading and studying. And uh, in Matthew 24, it talks about in verse 29, and the sun goes dark and the moon does not give its light. In Joel, it says the sun, the moon, and the stars will all go dark on the day of the Lord. Uh, and in Matthew 24, 29 through 31, it says, then at that time, you will see the sign of the Son of Man coming in the clouds. So it's like, well, this event in the sun, moon, and the stars, that has to happen. So there's six events. John, you say we do not go through the wrath of God, must, but we must go through the seven seals. I mean, what's the difference? I'd like you to explain that when we come back. Right back to It's Supernatural. My passion is for you to walk in divine health 24-7. That's why I handpicked my favorite healing scriptures from many translations of the Bible, personalized them for you, and made them available in this free ebook. I want you to meditate or pray out loud these scriptures over your life daily and witness the supernatural healing power of God's kingdom come upon you. Download your free Healing Scriptures eBook now. If you love watching our It's Supernatural TV program, you can now watch hundreds of archive programs online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on your computer, your smartphone, your iPad, or your favorite tablet. In addition to archive programs, you'll be able to also watch special ministry and mentoring sessions taped at our It's Supernatural Media and Mentoring Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, with the best teachers in the various gifts of the Holy Spirit. You will also be able to enter into the presence of God through anointed worship and special soaking prayer sessions. ISN will be the vehicle to equip you to being normal. Normal as defined by the Bible. You will be taught and receive impartation to walk in the supernatural of God like never before. That's SidRoth.org forward slash ISN. We now return to It's Supernatural. So, John Choi says we do not go through the wrath, but we go through the seven seals. What's, what's the difference? The seals, you know, see, the, the book of Revelation was written on a scroll, and a scroll is like a parchment that's all rolled up. Mm -hmm. And, and the, this parchment was like sealed with, if you can imagine, wax seals down the length of this. Right. And each of these seals had a story that would be told. It represented, you know, something that was a coming event. So I'm driving home from this men's breakfast, and I'm having a conversation with God, and I'm saying, God, could you explain to me what's the difference between the seals and the wrath of God. And, and I'm just hammering, you know, saying, Lord, you know, tell me, okay, what's going on? And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit just downloaded the answer into my mind. And the answer, he said, the difference is the delivery. The wrath of God is delivered by angels, and there are no angels in any of the seals. Well, I didn't know this. So I get home and I open my Bible and I'm looking at all seven seals. They're not an angel to be seen. And I look at the seven uh, 
trumpets of God's wrath, an angel delivers every one of them. Look at the seven bowls of God's wrath, all delivered by angels. Go back into the Old Testament, you know, in, in uh, Pharaoh's time, you know, in Egypt. All of those plagues were delivered by angels. And that's when I realized the seal is not the wrath of God because it just doesn't fit the pattern. They're not delivered by angels. It's really the wrath of the Antichrist. The war on the saints that Daniel describes will last for 42 months. Is, that war on the saints is the wrath of the Antichrist, the wrath of Satan. And in Revelations, talks about the war on the saints lasting 42 months. It literally says that the Antichrist will be given authority over the saints for 42 months, three and a half years. You just had a recent revelation of Matthew 24 with Revelation 6. Explain that to me. Well, you know, somebody asked me just recently, and they said, we see all of these signs of the Lord's coming, and it looks like the Lord should be coming soon, but what if He doesn't? And it got me to thinking, and I feel the Holy Spirit prompted me to study the signs of the Lord's coming. So as I started looking at this, because, because this is the thought that hit me. If Jesus said, watch for the signs that you be not caught unaware, how could he ask us to watch for the signs if we was to see all of these signs appearing, the blood moons, the, the signs in the sun and the moon, and, uh, and the events in Israel, and the global events that are just happening all over the place, these were the signs that we were told to watch for. If they would to not mean anything, why would he have us watch for them so that we would not be caught unaware? So this study brought me to Matthew 24. And what's interesting about Matthew 24, it's literally an outline of a future book in Revelations, the sixth chapter, where the opening of the seven seals. Now, if you read Matthew 24, you will literally see every one of the seals represented in this dissertation in Matthew 24. It talks about the revealing of deceivers and antichrist. It talks about famine. It talks about pestilence in, in actually the, the same dissertation written in Mark, uh, Luke's viewpoint. It mentions pestilence and wars. And it talks about the saints being turned over to the authorities and killed. That's the fifth seal. And then Matthew 24, 29 says the sun goes dark and the moon does not give its light. And at that time, the sign, the sign of the Son of Man uh, appears. Uh, and when you look at Revelations chapter 6, the sixth seal, there was a great earthquake and the sun goes dark and the moon does not give its light. Well, you see, I see the chapter 6 of Revelation as the period of time that the church will go through tribulation. And at the opening of the sixth seal, when the sun goes dark, the seventh seal is silence in heaven for 30 minutes. I believe that's the rapture. And when we show up at the throne, we are in such awe standing before God that it's a holy hush. Nobody says a word until our Heavenly Father breaks the silence. Well, then chapter 7, verse 9, the elder says, Who are these multitudes in white robes that are innumerable? And where did they come from? And then he says, These are those who have come out of the great tribulation." It just makes so much sense. I have to ask you this. I have to ask you this. I believe Jesus is coming back soon. I believe there will be gross darkness because the Bible says that. I believe that the light will shine so magnificent on those that know their God that the early saints had these halos painted by artists. It's because the glory of God was on them. The fire of God was on them. We are going to see the greatest evangelism in the history of planet Earth. Are you ready? Personally, are you ready for the greatest move of God's Spirit in history? I know. I'm more than ready. Did you know that there is a promise from God of a great blessing for those who read the book of Revelation? But how can you receive that blessing if you don't understand what you're reading? 
Bible scholars have debated when the time of the rapture will occur. Is it pre-tribulation, mid, or post? But John Shorey shares for the first time in recent history, all these scholars agree on one startling thing. Jesus is coming soon. John Shorey wants to make sure that you and your loved ones are prepared for the end time events about to take place on planet Earth. Call now and receive John Shorey's Mystery of the Revelation Unveiled Package, which includes his end time book, The Window of the Lord's Return, and his revelatory book, Unlocking the Mystery of the Book of Revelation, plus this exclusive bookmark, Revelation in Chronological Order. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9263. Is it pre-trip? Is it mid-trip? Is it post-trip? The first book that I wrote was about the timing of the, of the Lord's coming from the standpoint that He's coming soon. And the other part of the book is talking about the timing of the rapture. Through this startling, easy to understand prophecy package, the answers to these questions are revealed. When will the rapture occur? Could it be that the angels reveal to John additional footnotes to give us a clearer understanding of the end times? What are the seven events that must take place before the rapture occurs? What will be the configuration of the one world government? What does the Bible mean when it says there will be a great falling away? Who will be the Antichrist and where will he come from? How will the Jewish temple be rebuilt as long as the Muslims are in control of the Temple Mount? How does the United States fit into end time prophecy? Is America the mystery Babylon? What heavenly events must take place before the rapture occurs? Are you really prepared for what is soon coming? Don't be caught unaware. I want you to get these two books. Why? Because he goes into detail how to understand the book of Revelation that when you put it in the proper chronological order. So not only does he teach you this, but we have a Bible bookmark that lists the proper chronological order. I want you to get the blessing that is promised in the book of Revelation for reading it and comprehending it. This exclusive Bible bookmark will remind you of the chronological order of reading and understanding the book of Revelation. Don't miss out on getting John Shorey's Mystery of the Revelation Unveiled Package, which includes his end time book, The Window of the Lord's Return, and his revelatory book, Unlocking the Mystery of the Book of Revelation, plus this exclusive bookmark, Revelation in Chronological Order. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9263. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9263 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Are you interested in a breakthrough in one or more areas of your life? I am. Well, my guest has been shown a way for breakthrough that I believe is an ancient way that God is restoring right now because when she prays this way that God instructed her, she has 100% breakthrough 100% of the time. I want to find out about this. How about you? Yeah. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide. 